Good afternoon guys, Daniel back here from Single Mole Jack and welcome everyone. Um, I've got a special episode for you this afternoon. I've got here sitting with me my brother-in-law all the way up from the Cold Coast which is south of Sydney. <laughs> welcome yeah. on board Matty, thanks, thanks for coming up. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, it's good to be finally allowed to cross the border so we thought we'd take the opportunity to head north to a warmer Warmer climate. Warmer climate, Sitting yeah. here in the middle of uh, winter and it's uh, still yeah. pretty warm, 24 degrees today. It's been a lovely day. I forgot it was winter, actually, at some point today. I was doing some work earlier, sweating sweating away, but it was all good. So I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a break this afternoon. Definitely. And thanks for coming up. And as you can see today, we've got this bottle of Archie Rose Rye Malt whiskey with us so we're going to be sitting around here having a bit of a chat about Archie Rose and a bit of a review about this whiskey. What are your thoughts about Archie Rose, mate. Archie Rose. Um, Just in general. In general, yeah. It comes with a... This is, from what I understand, their first foray into whiskey. Mm. So they come with a bit of... I don't know, like... Uh, maybe a little bit of pressure. Because yeah. of, of their success. Expectations, maybe? Expectation, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've um, obviously had some success in their, their gin. Um, being pretty popular. Um, some experimental gins which seem mm. to do pretty well so mm. well, they do a really good gin I, yeah you know, I'm not a huge drink, uh, gin drinker but um, you know I, yeah. I do enjoy gin and tonic their, their gins are fantastic it's tasty like, yeah. I'm, I'm super excited about this because I've been up on the Gold Coast now for I guess almost four years but before that I lived in Sydney mm. and um, you you were the same like you've moved to Cold Coast yeah just south, south of Sydney south near Sydney. Wollongong that's right and you were in the inner west you went too far away from yeah. there when they first opened up yeah and I remember these guys opening up back in 2014 and uh, went for a tour around the distillery so I'm super excited for this because I, I saw I actually tasted this as a white spirit as, as it came off the, wow. the still when okay. we did the with, when we did the tour that's pretty cool and to be honest with you it wasn't fantastic <laughs> but okay. yeah you know that's coming straight off, like, that's a rye whiskey or a single malt, whatever it is, coming mm. straight off the still, it's never going to be great. Like, you know, you, yeah. can, you can sort of pick up a few little hints, but, mm. you know, most of the flavour comes out of the barrel, it's got to sit around in the barrel, so Not sure. I yeah. think they would have maybe made and barreled this back in 2015, Right. and it's only just been released this year. Yeah, uh, long so time coming. Been sitting in the barrel for maybe four or five years. Uh, yeah, they've got. Cool. I think they've only got 100 litre barrels um, from what I saw over there. I could be wrong, but that's that's what I saw. Yeah. Uh, so it matures a fair bit quicker. Um, I think it's ex American oak. Um, they've got they've got some ex um, uh, barrels they get from Tassie as well. I don't know. Not too sure mm. where they come came from, but they ran mm. us through the whole the whole experience, and it was yeah really really nice um, tour we did. They've got these, these massive two and a half and three and a half thousand litre copper stills like you, you've yeah, been there multiple yeah, times yeah pretty impressive place it's very impressive you know really really yeah. nicely done in the inner west in Rosebury in Sydney and they, you, you can see they've really got a passion for fine yeah you know spirits fine gin fine rye malt fine whiskey yeah. um, you know they've got this absolute cracking bar there made out mm. of copper like the whole top is copper yeah and the, the bartenders there really know their stuff. Dark oh, we, we popped in for my bucks party. That's right. A couple of yeah, years back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of a trouble, but yeah. uh, it was all good. We, <laughs> we made our way through there. But yeah. Um, yeah, real dark moody suits the sort yeah. of the, the spirit drinking. Yeah. I, I love going down and, and having a bit of a try down there. So, yeah. you know, as, as I said, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited to try this. I, uh, I'm pretty sure this, this release has only come out this year, maybe beginning of this year. I've been wanting to, to try it since then. Um, and you can see on the box here they've got a sticker World Whiskey Awards World's Best Right um, so yep you know I mean big expectations but I, I think these guys yeah. should really turn it on for us um, I think so you know I'm, so. I'm super excited to actually give this one a bit of a go I'd say but coming from these guys have they, a smell of that bottle see what you think they probably wouldn't release anything they weren't fairly confident no. in so no okay it's um, it's at forty six percent, so 
I don't know whether we need to put a few drops of water in it or not because it is it is sort of a high it is sort of a high proof. Um, you know, usual whiskies around is you know sort of forty percent. So mm. this is at forty six. But from what I hear, it's still quite drinkable without having to water it water it down. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I know. I mean, I know you're not a huge whiskey fan, and I'm not yeah. a rye fan. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. So a bit so, of an experience for both of us. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm so, generally not a whiskey man. So yeah, 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 let's yeah. see. See you how can you get go. my uh, layman's yeah. layman's uh, point of view. Watch this table because it's uh, it's a little bit <laughs> yeah. a little bit tricky. Yeah. I'll pour a couple of these for us. Um, and it, look, it, it probably is a bit of a whiskey. Oh, there you go. I've gone and spilled it all. But, uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's always hard to the first the first bit. Yeah. But um, you know, this is probably. A whiskey that you can you can sit on for a while and, and get right. to know it. I mean, it's not not something you're probably going to get all the flavours out straight away. So yeah, it's going to going to take a little while. But cheers, mate. I've cheers. been saving this bottle for you to come up. I appreciate I know, that. I know you really like and appreciate Archie Rose. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like their branding and what they yeah. sort of do. So yeah. let's give it a crack. Yeah, I mean, have have a bit of a smell and see what you think. Um, you know, definitely. You know what you're going to expect out of rye whiskies from my very very limited experience i'm definitely not a rye whiskey well mm -hmm. i'm not a whiskey expert at all i'm a, <laughs> definitely an amateur but i i haven't had a lot of experience with rye whiskies but a rye grain is you know it is quite sweet you know it's very mm -hmm. spicy so yep. you know what what they're saying is you know sort of a spicy custard apple i'm yeah. sort of expe expecting like a um one of those fruits called the custard apple a custard fruit. apple, yeah, a custard sort of, apple with a bit of cinnamon, yeah, a bit of cinnamon in there, stewed up, yeah, right. Eh? That's kind of what I'm expecting, but um, could be wrong. I mean, the, the color on this is actually, you know, re really, really nice, and I, I, nice. I don't think these guys add coloring to it. I mean, they, they might. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. Hope not. What is uh, this barley? So, uh, rare. So it's rye malted barley. Paired with virgin American oak cast. Okay, mm. so so we should get a bit of a hit out of the the barrels as well. Spice, custard, ginger, stone fruit, lingering herbal finish, um, air dried. Okay, so it's aged for thirty six months. Right. Okay. okay. Three years. So I, okay. I said maybe four or five, but yeah, okay, three years, fair enough. There you go. Um, I think it's got to be aged for three years to call it minimum three years to call it a whiskey. So right. You know, okay. I, as you said, I, I I think these guys have got to be happy with it before they release it because I know yeah. the quality of their product is always yeah just sitting in the bar you can tell yeah. you know they've got a passion about it so Definitely I'm passionate I'm, I'm really excited let's have a go hook in and let us know what you think mm. Mm. okay yeah it's quite it is, it is spicy yeah that's quite different isn't it yeah it's almost got a little bit of a bourbon style sweetness to it yeah that you pick up so you kind of got that like I don't know sort of bourbon American type honey type flavor to it so I can I can imagine the Yanks would love this stuff yeah yeah it's definitely miles different to a Scotch or a Japanese or an Australian whiskey you know, yeah it's definitely not an Australian whiskey style for sure no, you know you could you could quite easily mistake that for a bourbon <laughs> But yeah. you know it's a rye because it's got the extra spice. It's yeah. it's quite spicy. Like it's on the nose. Like as soon as you take it in, then it mellows out. Nice mouthfeel at the end, actually, after you have a swallow. Hmm. Definitely pretty smooth. It is quite smooth, and and you know it's at a higher proof because it mm. does give you a little bit of a, a bit of a zing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And you and you know, okay, well, Almost. this this is this is kind of a serious style whiskey, you know. De Opens definitely, up the sinus you know, definitely well. that sort of spicy pepper comes through. Yep. You know, but it does have that. It's it's weird. I think it's quite well balanced because it's got sort of that sweetness to it, mm. uh, but then it's balanced out by sort of a dryness and a spiciness as well. Yeah. So it's not like I, I don't I don't really like a lot of those sweet bourbons where you're just getting no. like this sweet no. sort of flavour. Where especially this is, like a pure American honey, I yeah. can't do it, but. No. Um, yeah, it's definitely got the dryness. Mm. Like um, after a couple of sips, it's definitely pretty dry at the end there, which mm. is after yeah, the what, after the spiciness settles down. That's right. Yeah. So you have got that spiciness, and then what they were saying was that, okay, it's got a, a bit of a sort of a dry herbal type finish to it that you, mm. you know you can definitely 
definitely pick that up. But um, I don't know. It seems to take you sort of through a, a big range of different tastes, which I think I is quite like. like. Uh, yeah, I, I quite like. I mean, I, I I can see why they've given it the world's you know best rye award. I mean, I, I think that's it's a big claim. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. like not knowing too much what to compare it to. Mm. Yeah. It's got yeah. it got given the gold, so that's fair enough. But um, it, it's it's a it's a tasty rye malt. Yeah, look, I'm I'm the same. I mean, I don't have really too much to compare it to because mm. I don't really even have any rye whiskies on the bar. I mean, most mm. of the whiskies I've got over there are okay. There's a couple of bourbons, uh, but that's very different to this. And most of them mm. are either Scotch, Australian, or Japanese whiskies. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've always been a little bit skeptical about the rye's. You know, I mean, I've yeah. had a couple of bad ones, a couple of okay ones. Mm. Um, but as soon as these guys have released this rye, uh, so I apologise for that. I'll have to cut that in, guys. But <laughs> the camera rudely ran out of battery while we were mm. partway in conversation. Mm. Um, you know, but I mean, we've been sitting here talking about this for almost ten minutes now, and um, you know, what, what do you think about it in summary? I mean, I. I I actually really enjoy it. Look, yeah, I, I've, I've been enjoying it. We've got um, barbecue going in the background. I'm not sure mm. if you can see the puffs of smoke uh, coming through the camera shot, but um, smokiness on the nose from the timber um, is just, yeah, it's making this an enjoyable afternoon. Mm. Um, can't say much against the no uh, the drop from Archie Rose. So, no. but um, look, I'd, I'd be keen to. Give it a few more sips, mm. like you were uh, saying earlier. Mm. Maybe a little bit of water could yeah. open it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something um, we didn't think about. We're just yeah. talking about it now as we're sitting down, thinking oh, on the fly. Yeah, um, maybe we should put a couple of drops of water in it. Um, yeah. So we might do that after, and you know, see if that sort of opens up the flavours a little bit more. I mean, it is at 46, so it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to put a couple of drops in just to get some extra flavours out of it. But um, look, guys, we're gonna have to leave it with you. Um, got Maddie up here so we don't want to talk for too long and you can't see but in the background we've just got the charcoal barbecue started um, our next episode or it might be the one before this I haven't decided yet but Maddie's got a, uh, a home spiced chicken wings or niblets recipe that he's going to share with us so I'm super excited I think his barbecue is going to be ready to go in about 15 minutes we're going to get them marinated we're going to get them on the barbecue and we might switch over to a local beer and go from there what Sounds do you good. reckon Sounds excellent, let's do it. Great, we'll leave it with you guys. If you like it, like it and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back really soon. Thanks, Maddie. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me.